What's up guys, my name is Vishnu and you are watching Flattech. So today in this video, I'm going to explain a special term that is big little. So you might have heard about this term when we talk about chipset or processor. So let's further ado, let's get in the video. Well, if you are watching this video, there's a higher possibility that you are watching this video on your smartphone. Well, what kind of processor are you having on your smartphone? Is it a dual core processor? Is it a quad core processor? Is it an hexa core processor or is it an octa core processor? Tell me in the comment section below. Anyways, in dual core we have two cores. In quad core we have four cores. In hexa core we have in total six cores and in octa core we have in total eight cores. Well, your next question would be why did I say in total? Well, in hexa core and octa core we have two different processor. In, let's take an example of Hexaco right now. In Hexaco, we have a core core processor and a dual core processor. In Octaco, we have two core core processor. And Hexaco and Octaco are frequently used processor for big little structure. Well, now let's talk more deep about this big little structure. One thing you already know that in this big little structure you have two different processor the second thing i will talk about right now but in big little structure we have two different processor and the one processor is being clocked at higher clock speed and one it is being clocked at lower clock speed the higher clock cpu is being run when you do graphic intensive stuff like gaming or you are watching high definition video like right now the lower clock CPU is being grown when you do non-graphic intensive stuff like you are using WhatsApp or using messaging app or web browsing and the list goes on. Well your next question would be why do we need two kind of processor one at higher clock and one at lower clock. What's the use of that? Well my friend the lower clock CPU saves some juice the lower the clock speed the more power you save and the more power you save from processor the more battery you get so that's the beauty of big little structure so now let's get back this is a smartphone which i used to shoot all of my videos with and that is a smartphone which i'm shooting right now by the way that is a s7 anyways getting back to the topic this is Samsung Galaxy S4. It has Exynos 5410 chip. It is the first smartphone which I've heard about this term about big little. So it had the first processor it had is highly clocked one that is ARM Cortex A15 chip. It's been clocked at 1.6 gigahertz each and the second processor it had was lower clock speed, uh, lower clock CPU that is 1.2 gigahertz quad core processor. Now let's talk more about uh, the modern processor which is being used on Samsung Galaxy S7. S7 has Exynos 80 and 90 chip. The first processor which is higher clocked one is Mongoose 2.3 GHz core core processor and the second lower clock processor is ARM Cortex A53. It is being clocked at 1.6 GHz each. So now you can see two similarities in both of the processor between 5410 and 8890 chip. Both have two different processor and both have one higher clock CPU and one lower clock CPU. So that's my explanation explain about a uh, big little structure. I hope you like this video. So I guess that's it for this video. Do that subscribe button if you haven't already. If you found this video helpful, then do that like button and don't forget to share this video. You can follow me on Instagram at flatech26 because I post behind the scenes images over there. So till then you guys, peace out.